Hi, folks. We're back with the Molesburg panel. General Vallelie and uh, C. Edmund Wright uh, rejoin us. And, General, um, you have some uh, news on Benghazi to share with us, sir. Well, I do. Uh, you know, I've uh, co founded and part of the uh, Citizens Commission on Benghazi. Uh, we now have uh, pretty uh, uh, good evidence that uh, to answer the question of why Ambassador Stevens was in Benghazi. We now have that, and uh, the reason he was there because of an arms deal uh, that was uh, a covert plan within the State Department, U.S. government, to arm the Libyan rebels whom the United States government was supporting and who ultimately ousted, uh, of course, former Libyan Prime Minister Muammar Gaddafi in October 2011. But I want to tell you about Mike Turi, T-U-R-I. Stephen, you ought to do a little investigative reporting on this and and do a show on it. Mike was involved in that arms deal. He now has a sealed indictment against him uh, by the U.S. government and State Department. Uh, and uh, we are working with Mike now to try to raise money for him to help him out. But here is an individual caught up again in the vice of this government who wants to silence anybody that knows anything deep about Benghazi. That's why the select committee is so important. But we got to know now it was a botched arms deal funded by Qatar, who continues to support the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda, not only there, but in Syria. And Mike Turry's the guy that uh, hopefully we can get all that information out of uh, once we can get him in front of a select committee. Well, that, that's what I was going to say. You, you, do, you do anticipate he'll be called uh, by the committee to testify. We hope so, yes. We're providing that to Trey Gowdy, by the way. Yeah. Good, good. And, and, and you know, I, I read so many reports about alleged threats, uh, threats of pension, threats of position, uh, threats of, you know, ruining someone's future and uh, prosecution even, if, if people who know what happened actually talk. Now, what, what is the sealed indictment? I mean, I mean, it's sealed, obviously, but what do you suspect they're going after him for? Well, supposedly uh, his association and uh, supporting uh, uh, certain uh, uh, truths about what happened in Benghazi. They really don't want him to talk. And so he knows all about the covert plan because he was intimately involved with it and uh, knows the connections to Qatar and knows that the State Department uh, and what the State Department is involved in an arms deal is beyond me. I thought they were a diplomatic represent representatives of America. But here they put their uh, their ambassador at risk in Benghazi, uh, trying to arm Al Qaeda, uh, supported and uh, proffered by the Muslim Brotherhood to oust Gaddafi, and boy, it's all coming together now, Steve. Uh, 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 Edmund, uh, <laughs> so uh, Hillary uh, will hopefully be asked about this, and uh, she gonna you know say, hey, I, I know nothing, or is she gonna take the fifth <laughs> literally on this one? <laughs> Hillary, Good. Hillary, Sergeant Schultz. Um, Anyway, uh, you know, isn't it interesting? Well, well, well. What do we find out? It, it really I mean, I mean, she could, she could do, she could do. I don't recall, like oh, when yeah. she testified before a grand jury back in the old days. Right. She was just baking cookies, right? Um, but, but anyway, uh, th this is what we we said Ambassador Stevens was doing. And by we, I mean those of us who you know been upset by this whole you know issue of the supposed video. Uh, you know, this was part of the story from the get-go, and I'm glad the general can now answer Trey Gowdy's first question to the media when he grilled the media in that great uh, uh, YouTube video that's going around of what was he doing in Benghazi. So I agree. It sounds like to me the story is coming together, uh, and it's not going to be what Susan Rice said on the five Sunday shows. Correct. No. It's, well, listen, kudos to you, General, uh, for doing such great work uh, and being on the ground there and in Syria and elsewhere and, and, and always uh, coming back here and, and, and uh, telling us among the first uh, and letting us be the first to know and all of our viewers. And I thank you very much. And uh, thank you both, uh, General Paul E. Vallely and, of course, uh, C. Edmund Wright. And I'm looking here, and uh, I know that, uh, Edmund, you'll be back in the, uh, in, the next, uh, in the next panel as well. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, folks, thank so you. when we come back, the uh, Santa Barbara shootings, but also stabbings. I mean, a lot of people were shot. Uh, three people were killed. Then the gunman took his own life. That makes four by gun, and many more were, were wounded with the gun. But three of his roommates were killed. And, and I remember the detective, the police officer, saying it was a, one of the most gruesome scenes he ever saw. 
uh, the stabbing of the three roommates. So we're going to talk about all that with Gloria Allred. Don't go away.